The World Cup final between Argentina and France was filled with drama and controversial moments, so let's take a look at them in more detail. First up, we have Di Maria beating Dembele, before the Frenchman catches his leg from behind. Once Dembele makes this step here and risks touching Di Maria, he is always going to go down looking for a penalty. That's not diving or cheating, it's just part of the game. Some people might consider it a soft foul, but with the contact, it is definitely a foul and the referee made the right call. Notice here how the French players all put their arms up in unison. That's a great indication for the referee that they know it's a foul, and player reactions is something referees take into account when making decisions. There was no intervention by VAR, although they would have checked the incident to make sure the referee had not made a clear and obvious error in awarding the penalty. Next up is Francis Moani who beats Otamendi for pace, and he is pulled back, but also crucially, Otamendi makes contact with him from behind, as you can see here. Again, while some people might say there was not a huge amount of contact, there is enough for a foul to be given, and the referee got this right, which is why there was no intervention by VAR. With the game at 2-2, France thought they should have been awarded a penalty in the final few minutes, as Turam went down in the box following a challenge by Fernandez. However, the ref awarded a free kick to Argentina and booked Turam for simulation. On first look, it appears that Fernandez sticks his leg out and risks giving away a potential foul. At this point, it looks like it could be a penalty. But when we go further, Fernandez pulls his leg away, and you can see here that Turam leaves his own leg in to try and simulate contact. It's a tight call, but it appears the referee got this one correct. Looking at Turam's reaction here, you'd have to say he knows it probably wasn't a penalty. Argentina went ahead 3-2 in extra time, as Messi finished off following Martinez's shot, but there was a check for offside. When the ball is originally played over the top here, Messi is offside. However, Messi is not directly involved in the play, and Martinez brings the ball down. At this point, Messi is back onside, and it is a new phase of play. Fernandez plays the ball through to Martinez, and this is where the offside check comes in. It was a very tight call, but VAR confirmed that Martinez was just onside, and so the goal was allowed to stand. The finish for Messi is clearly over the line, so that wasn't in question. Plus, the automated goal line technology had already confirmed to the referee, via his watch, that the ball was over the line. Finally, we have France's extra time penalty which made it 3-3 and took the game to a penalty shootout. Montiel goes to block Mbappe's shot, and his arm is away from his body. The laws of the game are clear in this situation, and so the referee had to award a penalty because Montiel essentially made his body unnaturally bigger by putting his arm out. Again. Correct decision by the referee. Ultimately, there were some close and controversial calls in this game. What do you think? Did the referee and VAR get the calls correct? Let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed these videos during the World Cup. I plan to continue providing reviews of decisions in domestic leagues and major cup competitions, so make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. Thanks for watching.